Hi, I'm Scott Mumford. I'm the Extension Peanut Agronomist with the University of Georgia. As a peanut agronomist, Extension Peanut Agronomist, I work with the county agents in every county that grows peanuts as well as all the producers in those counties trying to help them manage problems and try to try to extend their productivity, in other words, enhance their productivity. The 2019 peanut crop, pretty much like any other year, uh, is atypical. Uh, it's not your, not what we consider is the normal year um, when you think about the weather. We are sitting on about 650,000 acres of peanuts in the state of Georgia this year, which is not the, the highest amount we've had, but is pretty much average for us. Um, we got started this year in very in a very good situation where we had plenty of moisture and plenty of heat so we got planted early or earlier than the last couple of years <clears throat> and then like always we go through some trial periods where um, or trying periods of the season where we have some problems and this year it was moisture we run out of moisture real quickly and it, and it got hot uh, or the temperatures soared on us to 90 plus degrees in the middle to latter part of May all the way through today. We've, we've had a tremendous amount of 90 degree temperatures all the way through the year this year with, lack, with limited amount of moisture. We did get moisture, but it was pretty limited for the most part. Uh, so when you start to look at the crop this year, there's gonna be several things you're gonna see. The irrigated peanuts, which are about 50% of our peanuts, look above average because again they've had the heat to push the crop but they also had the moisture you could put on the 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 moisture needed you know at any given moment during that during that period where we have problems though that we're really worried about right now is the non-irrigated crop and in any given year you know we talk about mother nature can can throw a curveball at us and she does usually in in pockets or regions of georgia but this year it's all over. We've had drought conditions all over. Uh, there have been some areas that have received moisture at the right times and so there's some non-irrigated crops that look just as good as irrigated this year. But when you look at the average uh, non-irrigated crop it's going to be below uh, what, it, what we typically would like to see yield wise but also quality wise. We've had a tremendous amount of problems with tomato spotted wilt virus as well as lesser corn salt borers and then diseases and so we're dealing with that um, that's going to cause some problems but overall i think the the hot dry condition is is the major issue that we're dealing with well, like i said we we are at the harvest season right now uh, it is the second week of september we have been digging peanuts and harvesting peanuts for approximately a week week and a half now uh, some of those are because we planted earlier and we were able to mature those out and they needed to come out of the ground and be harvested. A lot of those, especially the irrigated crop, looks pretty good. They, they're yielding very well as well as grading very well. The quality is very, very good at this time. Uh, the non-irrigated crop, we were able, we, we were able to um, save some of that crop by digging early. Um, because it did not put on any more peanuts beyond a certain period. So they are digging those peanuts as well. I would think right now what, what growers need to think about as we're trying to get ready to get into the, the peak of this crop, uh, being at harvest time, is when you do dig them, try to dig them on time as good as you can, uh, but also don't walk away. You know, we typically leave peanuts on the ground for five to seven days before we harvest them. This year, we have gotten into a situation now that it's 95 plus degree temps with no rain and no clouds. And so what's happening now is we dig peanuts and they're dry in three days on the vine. Typically, that, like I said, that takes five to seven days, but if you wait that five to seven days, then that's going to that's gonna cause some more issues with loss at harvest. And so I'd just say at this point, we just need to keep track of where, you know, the ones that, that are dug, where are they at as, in regards to moisture or optimal moisture for harvesting. If you'd like to <clears throat> catch up on the latest details or get the latest information as far as how the crop is doing and, and some of the issues that we are dealing with so that you can, you can kind of um, 
head that off as you reach harvest season you can go on to the peanut team website which is ugapeanutteam.org or um, probably more specifically call your county agent and uh, get with them and, and express your concerns or ask questions that you might have so that we can help you uh, minimize any potential problems that you might you know, see during harvest.